I'm Tom, Tom McDougall. I'm an alcoholic. And uh, through the grace of God and fellowship of recovering people, I came to Minnesota from back east in 1989 and have enjoyed 21 years of sobriety. Uh, and I know William is expecting a spiritual leader, but in the spirit of being in the legislature, I'm going to speak as a fiscal conservative today. <laughs> Uh, the banner says recovery works. Uh, it's also true that addiction doesn't work and it's very, very expensive. Uh, I come from a long line of violent drunks. We are not nice people in my family when we're drinking. We are largely mean, except when we're vicious. Uh, my, my uncle Alan killed a guy in a bar fight. Murder trials are expensive. So is prison. My cousin Billy took up drug dealing because it's a fast way to make money. Uh, arresting drug dealers is expensive. His two colleagues in crime hung him in the jail cell and killed him. That's two more murder trials. They are expensive. So is two more imprisonments for murder. Uh, my brother-in-law, Chip, was killed in a drunken boating accident. When they send out the Coast Guard search planes, it's expensive when a search and rescue mission turns into a search and recovery mission and they keep flying, it's expensive. My parents like to drink and brawl. In their lifespan, generated well over a thousand calls to the police. That's expensive. The police department actually took out a restraining order against my parents. <laughs> the only time I've ever heard that happen. When my mom died, I went to the police station to thank them for the years of public service. They had her obituary pinned to the bulletin board next to threat level orange. <laughs> the pain she inflicted on the police was expensive. At 85 years old, my dad got arrested for slugging a state trooper. He had the novel legal theory that since no one was hurt in the accident, the trooper couldn't arrest him. Uh, the, all the time and effort they chewed up with the police was expensive. My little sister and I grew up in the same household. We were both badly battered children as a result of the, my parents' addiction. Our hospitalizations over and over again were expensive. My dad committed insurance fraud. Each time we were hospitalized, Blue Cross paid 100% of our hospital bill, and the General Electric Insurance also paid 80%. He made a profit on each of the hospitalizations. The insurance fraud was expensive. My little sister and I grew up very close, we're very much alike. The only difference in our lives is I'm in recovery, she's not. And she developed the same level of violence and hatred that our parents had, not due to who she really is, but due to whom alcoholism turned her into. And she became very angry with her husband, and they would drink and fight. They even had an attempted intervention. The district attorney and the defense counsel and the state police lieutenant came to her and brought recovery literature and said, we can't help you, we can only prosecute you, get into recovery, and she didn't, and she murdered her husband. Another murder trial is expensive. Another imprisonment is expensive. As a fiscal conservative, I say to the legislature, recovery works. No one has ever called the police on me. <laughs> it's, it's, this afternoon I'll be working on my income taxes. I toted it up. I pay $26,000 a year in Minnesota State, Ramsey County, and City of St. Paul taxes. I contribute to this state, county, and city. I don't cost anything. Recovery works on a fiscal basis. Thank you very much.